Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss about a phenomenon called as Biladi's anomaly. Uh, so before we understand what is Biladi's anomaly, just let's uh, brush up through uh, how page falls occur and how uh, frames have to be increased in order to overcome the uh, number of page falls. See, we know what a page fault is. A page fault is nothing but uh, whenever the operating system is trying to look out for a particular page in the main memory and if that page is not found in the main memory then it is called as a page fault. So what will the OS do? It will go and then uh, uh, fetch it from the secondary memory and load it into a space available in the main memory. So page faults occur when you have the concept of demand paging. So we, we bring in pages only as and when it is needed according to demand paging. Uh, if you see my video on uh, steps to handle a page fault, then you will understand uh, how a page fault occurs and then uh, how the OS goes and fetches uh, the page and puts it into the main memory. So that video will clearly explain how page faults are handled. Now coming to... Uh, the concept of Biladi's anomaly. See, whenever there's a page fault, what if we want to reduce the number of page faults, what the OS will try to do is it will try to increase the number of frames. That's what the OS does whenever uh, it needs to reduce the number of page faults. So what happens? General notion is that when you increase the number of frames, then you will have fewer page faults occurring. So this is the general notion behind the concept of uh, uh, page faults and uh, frames. But then there are situations where the reverse might happen. What do I mean by reverse might happen? That is when you have more number of page faults and if I'm going to try to increase the more um, the number of frames so that I can reduce the number of page faults, still I'll find that the number of page faults keeps on increasing. So that is what might happen in certain situation. And this situation, okay, is called as Biladi's anomaly. That is, what is Biladi's anomaly? Biladi's anomaly is nothing but when you try to increase the number of frames in order to reduce the number of page faults, you happen to find that the number of page faults, instead of decreasing, it keeps increasing only. This phenomenon, this unexpected result only is termed as Biladi's anomaly. And this particular phenomenon is exhibited by uh, three different uh, algorithms, namely uh, FIFO, second chance algorithm and random page replacement algorithm. These algorithms uh, uh, experience uh, the Biladi's uh, anomaly. Now let's look into this uh, simple graph which is drawn between the number of page falls and the number of frames. So we have the number of page falls on the y-axis and the number of frames on the x-axis. Now if you uh, look at the graph carefully, see now uh, when you have one frame, the number of page falls is uh, say 12. Okay, and then you increase the number of frames, the page falls haven't decreased. It is at 12 only. Now when you increase the number of frames here uh, as 3, you find there is a decrease in the number of page faults. This is what is the normal uh, scenario. Now when we want to further decrease the page, page faults, what we do? We try to increase the number of frames to 4. Now what we see is when we increase the number of frames to 4, we happen to find an increase in the number of page faults. See the graph is going again upwards. So this phenomenon is only called as Biladi's anomaly. Okay, so what do we do in order to remove this Biladi's anomaly? How can Biladi's anomaly be removed? Is our uh, next question. So, in order to remove Biladi's anomaly, we can have to use a stack based approach to our algorithm. So, examples of algorithm that use this is a stack based approach, they are optimal page replacement algorithm and LRU, recent, least recently used algorithm. These two algorithms are stack-based approaches, approaches, whereas FIFO is not stack-based. That Therefore, FIFO uh, suffers from Biladi's anomaly. Now, how uh, on what is meant by the stack-based approach? 
these algorithms, they are actually based on the idea that if a page is inactive for a long time, it means it is not being frequently used. Therefore, you just forget about that page and uh, what you do is this, this will thereby allow improvised memory management and the abolition of Biladis and Mark. So I hope uh, you are clear with what is Biladis anomaly, uh, which are the algorithms which experience Biladis anomaly and how Biladis anomaly can be removed. Thank you.